our partners from across the pond just keep on stopping by. Martin, how are you? Nice to see you. Very good, very good. Nice to see you too. Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your company and why you're here and why you came to Ingram Micro for cloud services. Yeah, sure. So uh, basically there's, there's 60 of us in Canterbury in England and uh, in essence we're a systems integrator um, and whilst we've been a traditional systems integrator, we've uh, also always had our racks in data centers, believe it or not, since the 90s, so we're, uh, it's not something that's particularly new to us. Um, and I, th I suppose the, the, the real reason as to, to why we're here is that we, uh, a part of our business is, uh, is, is certainly it's, it's, well, it's moving more to the cloud. So whereas it's historically, you know, web servers and exchange servers, it's now more application servers, hosted desktops, Office 365, Azure. And uh, the reasons for coming here uh, was really to see uh, how, uh, you know, another country uh, effectively, you know, completes that. Right. Um, and you know, to, to gain a bit more you know, uh, best practice, a uh, few more ideas. So, for example, just over there, you know, the, the Skykick team were telling me about how to do Office 365 migrations more efficiently than we do at the moment. Um, so that's a, a prime example as to where I think we, you know, we sort of benefited from, from coming here. Um, with regards to Ingram Micro, uh, we were uh, you know, their first flower partner in the UK um, and ultimately they've been, we, we moved from uh, Tech Data Computer 2000, uh, funnily enough around 2001, 2002 to Ingram and since then you know our business has uh, gone from a 2 million a year to a 4 million a year business, mostly during the recession uh, so uh, and it's you know that's been you know they've, they've been great, they've been very helpful you know Apple, and Penny and the, and the crew have been, have been great. Now you, you mentioned, I, I was watching sort of your body English there. Yes, and you right. Said you were systems <laughs> I would go like this. Not that part, <laughs> you mentioned your systems integrators and then you said you, you moved to the cloud and there was sort of a hesitancy there. I mean, it, it, when you transitioned over to the cloud, yeah. um, is that something you just dove right into or was there some apprehension? on your part? No, um, so technically there's no apprehension, it's business model okay. actually. So uh, actually sales incentives um, and you know how, uh, the, the best way to migrate a client and sell it actually. So it's, it's those, those kind of bits, bits which we need to own. The technical bit we've been doing for donkey shoes, so that's absolutely fine and we're very comfortable with that and that's our core business. Um, but it's uh, you know the operational side, which uh, is all uh, yeah, is always room for improvement everywhere. But that's that's the main element we've been focusing on recently. Okay, tell me a little bit about uh, your experience so far at this summit. What have you learned? What? Well, let's back up a little bit. What did you come here hoping to learn, and what have you learned so far? So um, I suppose what I came here hoping to learn was uh, mostly with regards to um, you know how. So I was just, uh, you know, a lot of the a lot of the organisations or the, the suppliers come from America, right. so this is their homeland, and we were sort of, we, we like it that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, sort of hoping that uh, that perhaps we get, you know there's, there's quite a lot of stuff which we find is is implemented here before it's implemented in in Europe. Um, so I was hoping to get a bit of an advantage on that front, uh, perhaps. Um, and ultimately, that has been the ca you know, that has been the case. Although it has been a realization that perhaps, uh, as a company, we're not as far behind as perhaps I, I maybe anticipated we would be, uh, which is this is good. Uh, what I perhaps didn't expect, uh, which has come out of it, is relationships with um, organisations from other countries. So, for example, we have a you know there's a, a company that we're, we were with uh, I was with yesterday who they have uh, a client with a data centre in the UK, they want somebody to help, you know, they don't particularly, it's not, uh, it's not economically viable for them to go to the UK and do it, and they're looking for a partner in the UK, a trusted source, and ultimately, 
after you know after a, a, a good chat and exactly what was required you know perhaps we're it so okay all right now that you've embraced the cloud can you see running your business without it what would that, uh, do? What would that do if i said oh i'm sorry uh, no no more cloud services what would that do for your business um, it'd be a surprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know we went from a million to four million. I'm not quite sure. Back, you know, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd look at you slightly strange, um, but um, <laughs> it's um, uh, so, the first <laughs> so yeah. I mean, we've in effect had cloud services to a lesser degree for you know well over a decade. So uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I, I, you know, it, it suddenly going away would be would be odd. It's just that the expansion of, as I say, application and host desktops is, um, is, is kind of, okay. where, where this is increasing. Do you feel like since you've embraced the cloud that that has put you ahead of your competitors? In, in private cloud, yes. Uh, okay. Office, yeah. Um, it, uh, in Office 365 and Azure, um, we're running with the, hopefully the head of the pack if you see, you know, there are other organizations that are doing it. Um, and it's perhaps a little bit more difficult to differentiate yourself from, uh, you know, there's, there's over 24,000 uh, Microsoft resellers in the UK. And ultimately, you need to make sure that you're better than the, you know, the vast majority and, you know, and right at the top. So that's a little bit more difficult than doing the bespoke private cloud solutions. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks for stopping okay, by. Okay, no, thank you very much.